Let's talk about AMC. Let me pull up the chart and tell you exactly what I'm seeing. First off, AMC reported over the weekend due to a Top Gun movie that ticket sales are back to pre-pandemic levels. The range that we were seeing in 2019. And yes, AMC was still pretty beaten up, but it was decently played back then. So let's just get right to the chart. Let me open it up a little larger. Let me get to the chart myself so I can talk about it with you guys. So here we are. I'm just telling you limited downside. Now we did have a good bull run towards the end of May, which I told everybody was bullshit. I said the markets are going up. The institutions are telling you markets are going higher, but they're telling you a month from now or two months from now, the markets will be lower. Well, they were correct. However, I didn't get involved with that bullshit fake bull run. So let's get right into AMC. Again, AMC was hovering around the $10.50 range all the way up to $11. And they pushed it north of $15. And you can see the volume was picking up quite significantly. Since that time, we've had terrible market. AMC pushed down right to this level about 1180. Seems fairly good. Reached back up to 1350. Now, again, if you go from 1180 to 1350, you're talking about over a 20% gain to the upside. So why do I believe this is a good candidate for a short squeeze again? Because I think we're there after the two basically terrible trading days that we've just had a couple of other last week, we've been dipping in the bear market from 13 AMCs around uh, what? 11 and uh, dollars and 30 something sit a little higher here and see if we can get let me pull up a different chart actually okay so i pulled up the one month chart on amc from weeble which basically simplifies the chart a little less lines a little easier to view you can see exactly what i'm talking about what i'm going to talk about is the volume see the last three days volume 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 we're at 20 32 million that is not going to cut it for amc what amc needs is it needs a 70 million or 100 million volume day to really get the squeeze started. Now we can go back to 106 million, 89 million, 71 million, 3 million. Again, four, actually probably five straight days over 50 million volume. Now understand it seems to start the same way. So if I look back to May 24th, you'll see 37 million all the way to 53. So a nice bump. You can go to June 7th, which is a week ago. We're at 40 million. Then we got the bump to 51 million. Now what's happened the last three trading days? I'll tell you, the market's been shitting itself. It's been throwing up on itself and it's been going down. The S&P is at its worst range, worst level per year in the last 40 years. Is that going to continue? Not likely. I mean, I'm looking outside. The world's not falling apart. Everybody still has jobs. So what do I expect to happen? I expect AMC to have a volume spike in the next few days. I'll say in the next five trading days, as I shoot this Tuesday morning, I'll say by next Tuesday, June 21st, we're going to have a day where the volume gets to somewhere between 71 and 89 million on the upside. And that is why I'm telling you, I believe AMC will push $13 and 65 cents again. And again, if AMC right now is $11 and 50 cents, and I'm telling you that we're going up to 1365, that is over a 20% move higher. Okay, now let's talk about GameStop and the original OG, and let's look at the possibilities there. I'm going to mention the same type of information. We're going to look at volume, we're going to backdate it, and we're gonna see what the ranges or the possibilities of a GameStop pop could be. Let me share my screen. Again, I've got the one month up of GameStop. I believe we're trading at about 118, 118 and a quarter where it closed yesterday. As you can see, we've spiked above 133. So my exit on this would be about 133 because we've been there a few times and this is just going back three weeks. So we're 118, 133 would be my exit. I'll explain how we get there, but understand that's about a 14 or 15 percent gain. And a lot of people in GameStop are stock players. Me, I like options. You can play it either way, but if you play options, you must give yourself enough time to be correct and wait for the spike. So I'm going to bring up the same information that I brought up with uh, AMC. We're going to talk about volume. Now this is probably what, 10 million? This is 10 million? Yes. So 10 million, 15 million, 7 million. Again, understand anything above 7 million on higher volume GameStop has the ability to squeeze this stock. Now, if we look at GameStop just the past few days, and again, the markets are extremely beat up. Last Thursday, Friday, shit, everybody's telling you we're in a bear market. We're heading to recession. No, I don't believe that because I think the Fed's going to step in and go with a 75 basis point raise. And I think they're going to announce that tomorrow. And I think whereas the market's reaction might start little negative, I think it'll recoup by the end of the week. So again, I'm going to say within the next five to seven trading days, and I'm going to say all we need on GameStop is volume about 7 million. And I think we're going to squeeze. 
So is today the day? I'm not necessarily sure today is going to be the day. But again, if I can get in in the 117, 115 range and take this up to 133, 132, we're at that point again, you're talking about a 16% increase. Let's just go back three months. We can see it happen before. It happens multiple times. Again, volume was picking up. Then all of a sudden, of course, they sell the spike. That's what we're going to do as well. Just because we're going to go in GameStop for the short squeeze doesn't mean we shouldn't take profit. Early May, they were trying it a little, got held back. Again, they did it towards the end of May. But then we've been in the shit-tasting market for about at least over a week now. The SPY was 418. Now the SPY is at 375. You're about a major pullback from four, let's say, let's call it 420 to 380, right? That's a 10% drop in the SPY in about four trading days. So yes, there's going to be pressure on all sorts of stocks, especially a GameStop, an AMC, a B-Big, a Mullen, stocks of those natures, meme stocks. But again, I'm expecting some inflow days to come in the week ahead, and I'm expecting volume to pick up. So I'm looking for GameStop to again spike about 15%. Let's get to the next stock. Let's talk about B-Big. Let me pull up the chart. So here we go, and again, B-Big currently is under $2. I believe it's $1.98. There it is, $1.98, $1.99 pre-market. Now, what am I seeing in B-Big? I'm going to show you the same thing. So here's the one-month chart. Let's just and check out volume. Going into earnings, volume tended to pick up 18 million, 59 million, 21 million, 11 million, 12 million, 15 million, 12 million. Do you understand? I'm telling you double-digit million for volume. Let's go to the last few days. Again, 9 million, which is under 10, 12, 9, 11, 9. So again, the volume is not there, and the volume is not there because the market's beat up. It's crypto is extremely beat up. Yes, a lot of people like crypto, but we're not going to jump on the bandwagon as it's going down. We're going to wait for it to bottom. So when I look at B-Big and I say, oh my God, there's no volume, no volume, no volume, no volume. All we need is a little volume. And then you don't even need that much. B-Big's a $2 stock. You're talking about 20 million volumes. That's a $40 million investment. And it doesn't even have to be on the bull side. It doesn't have to be $40 million of buying. It has to be $40 million of action to quite literally push the stock back to 250, which would be a 25% grain, but that's not it. I'm looking for more. I've seen spikes of B-Big up to $3.30, $3.30, $3. So again, my exit's probably going to be somewhere around $2.62. Now, if we're talking and B-Big currently is under $2 and you're talking about it going up to $2.62, then you're talking about a 30% gain on BBIG. So let's just go back and let's say, okay, we need about May, May to mid-June, so we're about six weeks. So on BBIG, I can tell you, not as soon as AMC or GameStop, but I would tell you within the next six weeks, so we're in mid-June, I would say July. By the end of July, I'm pretty sure, confident, B-Big will be in the $2.80 or $2.90 range. So I might hold a little longer and I might look for 40% as opposed to 30%. I know some of you also want me to analyze Mullen and it's coming soon. It's just not coming in today's video. Gotta go trade the market. Have a fantastic day. Stick with me for the next video and let's learn something together.